Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to another Let's Play uh, by Crowded Mountain. Today we are going to be starting on Outer Wilds. Uh, I don't really know anything about this game yet. I've heard good things about it. It's been highlighted in a bunch of uh, like the game analysis channels I watch, but I've avoided watching them because it does seem like an interesting game. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to jump into it and figure it out as we go. Uh, let's see, what do I know about it? It was very highly rated whenever it came out, uh, either 2019 or 2018, I'm not sure. It only recently came to Steam. And I believe it's a puzzle game of some sort. And by that I mean, I'm pretty it's not like, pretty sure it's not like an RPG or a shooter, or something like this. I'm hoping it's um, an adventure puzzle game. Alright, what's this movement? Do I have controller drift? Oh no, I think I have controller drift. Alright. We're gonna try that again from the start. Okay, much better. Drift fixed. Extend stick. All right. What if I try and cook it properly? Oh, no. That's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the star, I see. Alright, gotta go get some launch codes. I seem to be part of a crew. This is what requires the launch codes. Uh, anything I can interact with? What do my buttons do? A is jump. That's kind of cool. So I can tap it for a small jump. Like this, tapping it. But if I hold it a little bit, it's not like most games where you, um, that's actually kind of clever. Uh, so most games when you tap A, you go up, and the longer you hold A is how long you go up. But this is kind of opposite, where the longer you hold A, the lower you crouch down. So if I tap A quickly, I just go down very slightly, and if I hold it a little tiny bit longer, See that? It goes down, up, down, up. And if I hold it a long time, I reach the bottom. Oh, interesting. So at the very bottom, it goes up. But if I keep holding it, I eventually stand up again. Oh, and it becomes weak. You can even see I'm doing that. So, huh, okay. Yeah, it kind of feels good just playing around with it here. Uh, I kind of like it. 
it's like adding a little bit of skill to the a different type of skill to the jump mechanic. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Don't need to practice. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, okay, no, come back here, come back here. All right, let's reset. Interesting. This is not what I expect. I didn't expect uh, flying. Oh, no, to have a skill aspect to it. Well, I didn't expect flying in the first place. I really didn't expect it. That was kind of like, uh, that was pretty fun. So one of the first things I'm trying to determine, of course, is like the whole mood of the game, what it's about, even what genre it is. This is a satellite going around in real time, I suppose. What am I taking a photo of? I said the village. I wonder how real time it is. Like if I look up. If I look up, I'll probably see it. Oh, wow. There's another... What is that? There's like a... Spaceship with some other smaller spaceships coming out of it. Okay, we're just based off of the movement and the mechanics and stuff. I'm actually really, I'm getting more excited for this. Uh, I was worried it would be like a puzzle game like The Witness. Nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit slower uh, mechanically. Um, that's more cerebral. Uh, but not so much on the, the platforming side. But I, I like games like Mario, I like or actually one of my favorite adventure games was, uh, sorry, I'm gonna, just gonna read this first. Uh, one of my favorite like adventure platforming games was Guild Wars 2. It had this great series of quests, or I don't know what you would call them. I only played the game for like a week. But they'd be like markers on your map, and if you went to them, you would get experience, and you'd get lore, and you'd get items. Uh, 
but they were like dungeons of platforming. So you would have to solve basic puzzles, do jumping challenges. Uh, but the main part was figuring out like where the entrance was and so you, you know where the end goal was, but you wouldn't know necessarily where the start to get there would be. Anyways, point is I'm a huge fan of uh, big fan of platforming challenges and platforming I guess I guess the term would be adventure Zelda games and the like uh, okay they're gonna hide and I need to use my signal scope to find them. Don't know how the gameplay works yet. Oh hell yeah, look at this. Got ya. Oh no. Uh, so that happened. I clicked the jump button. But I forgot about the. You have to hold the jump before you go into the air aspect of it. So I clicked it, but I didn't let go of it. So it's definitely. Going to take a little bit of time to get used to. Hmm. Gonna take some time to get used to the whole pre pre jumping. Ha, huh, found ya. You won, Galena. Oh, cool. Outer Wild Ventures. Okay, there's something over there. But we don't know. We don't really know anything yet, so we'll just keep going around and... Uh, figure out if we can f run into something. Oh, interesting. I can, like, hit stuff during my jump. Alright, no, I came from this way. So we've got a physical body in this game. And it seems like if I jump into stuff, I have, like, ragdoll-type physics. Uh, which makes me think there's going to be platforming, like, physical platforming puzzles which are probably my favorite type. All right, I'm on the right track to the observatory. There was a delicate balance in these early game sections between playing, uh, exploring everything and just getting on with the story. Early on, though, I think it's best just to go with the story for the most part.
Danger. It's a pocket of ghost matter. Can detect ghost matter with a camera. And there just happens to be a camera. Uh, seeing if it's uh doesn't seem to be really changing. If I, ooh, okay, let's not do that. That hurts. The game told me it would hurt me. And it hurt me. Who knew? Zero G training. Let's do it. Give this a shot. Some zero G training coming up. Yeah, so far I gotta say my uh, excitement of the game is a 10 out of 10. I have a sense I'm just going to blast through this Let's Play in like two days. Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so what do we have here? We have... As I'm in the air, I've got... I'm able to like bounce into things. Gravity is 0 0.4, and I have a fuel. Can okay, I have noticing there's a lot of, like, I can't examine a lot of stuff in the world. Which I'm personally a fan of. Ooh. Like, is it even worth exploring places like this? The game is not rewarding me for it. No reward, so no. I don't get the sense there's a uh, inventory in this game. So probably a whole lot of those uh, I don't know, collectible type stuff. It's probably just larger, more meta things. All right, what is this? There's a satellite. Oh. Okay, I see. So I hold A to be relative to it. And then I can... That's kind of cool. X. But while I hold A, I just kind of keep moving with it. While I reorient... Where I orientate myself. Uh, the downside is I'm pretty dame... Maybe I need to move away from it. Currently pretty lost. 
it's dark. All right, there we go. A to align myself, and then we zoom into it. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, I'm starting to see how. Uh, does it hurt if I smash into things? I'm not seeing. Maybe a third repair is like inside of it. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. It's actually pretty easy to control. Uh, quite often when there's... I don't know how many games even have a similar... Oh, type system. But SpaceX put out uh, SpaceX put out like a simulator for their rockets, and it was extremely hard to do. Whereas this is pretty intuitive. So is that all I had to do? Was that my objective? Something I'm in, uh, I'm appreciating is how minimal the HUD is. I haven't noticed there's been no maps, no really, no objective markers. It's been nice. That could always change very quickly. All right. We've learned about ghosts and cameras. Much less. Interesting. So I can just launch a camera. Be like, pew! Oh, then I can scout. See what it is. Hmm. Alright, that's really cool. That's really clever. Probably a good on way. Oof. Damage. Don't know how to check my health yet. Uh, observatory, observatory. Where is the observatory? That looks like the ob. Look at that moon go by. Looks so close.
Hmm. What are you looking at, my dude? Okay, where is... Alright, there's the observatory. Let's just go to that. Be consistent with what I was saying earlier. Around going for... Balancing objectives versus not. So much reading. Yeah, lots of reading early on. I can probably skip most of it, but it's interesting, and I like world building, so we're stuck reading it. So uh, I hope my viewers are <laughs> down for some fast reading. In a well-made uh, adventure game, everything is a hint or relevant to something. Maybe that's relevant to world building. But like these, I imagine, are going to be... We're probably going to go to both of these locations at some point. trippy ah. There's gonna be some like Prince of Persia puzzles coming up So I've got some translation thing. It's probably going to have her going to access <coughs> a lot of the lore. Here's where I entered. All right, up we go. Away. This is an interesting, like, prelogue to the game. Whoa. Wow, okay. So this is the game. We are here. Oh, that's that rock I saw go by. Two 
two planets there. Something really close to the sun. Look at this one, Britter Hollow, Hollow's Lantern. Oh, the Dark Bramble. All right, this is pretty dope, gotta say. What's this? Giant's Deep, it's like a gas giant and there's a lightning storm going on inside. Oh, okay, from far away they're called the Hourglass Twins. All right. Go explore. Let's go tr figure out the secrets of the Nomai. Keep talking. Yeah. This is just lore. Let's get going. This is that famous photo from NASA, isn't it? The deep space photo, where it's like they pointed a telescope at a tiny, tiny point of sky for a few weeks or something. And then where they saw nothing is revealed thousands of galaxies. They kind of prove that, yeah, there's just so much out there that we have no idea. chosen one. Well, hello to you too. Thank you. That was a pretty interesting tutorial bit of the game. I feel like it touched most of the things. Um, well, I don't know what is in the game yet. But it touched the basics, it went over lore, it went over my tools, some jetpacking. But it's also... All of it was also optional. I could have very easily not done any of that stuff and just skipped it. Uh, I also could have read probably a lot more. There's probably bits I missed. Uh, but I'm sure I'll run into, I'll, I'll learn how to do it later on. Yes, kid. I'm going out to die in space. I 
And it's just the, where I started at. That was a nice little loop, little nice design. Sun. Alright, let's just get going. Hmm. What is this? The one and only Harthian village. Okay, this is this is cool. This is like the objectives. Uh, you uncover little bits of here and of, of things of the story and you find your objectives that way. This reminds me a lot of Majora's Mask. Mm, okay, and these are the different sections. Okay, that is really cool. Big fan. What else do we have in the ship? Nothing else. Let's buckle up and... X lift off. Away we go. That's a really cool view. I'm back here. Did I do it? Did I land? I guess so. Landed good enough. What, I do, what I'm trying to figure out is how to move. Remove HUD marker. Because I don't care about the cave right now. But I do care. Oh, that is cool. The gravity is quite a bit different out here. Hide and seek. Uh. uh oh. Okay, it's kind of hard to, uh, kind of difficult to control.
I'm guessing that. Oh, cool, I can find. I can find fuel. Why does everything feel like I'm. It feels like this planet is. My gravity is off. My center of gravity is slanted weird. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. There's not really any translations on these. It needs to fly away from here. Get out of the crater. And 100 meters away. Must be where we need to go. A uh, flag. What's a flag doing out? This is the, um, that photo from the observatory or whatever. Yeah, what was that sound? Okay. I didn't even realize I was uh, running out of oxygen. That's pretty cool. You come near trees and pop up. Okay, got a new ship log, but don't know uh what am I what am I looking for here still? So this thing will point me towards things like that. I still need to find the translation. Translation thing, I think. Doesn't seem there's a point to come up here. Um, means yeah, my whole reason of coming to this place. Uh, was to do the translation, I think. I wonder if I can actually cook this without burning it. Seems like it's the kind of thing that would give an achievement for. It's definitely getting browner. That's a cool way for the, the HUD comes back in. Looking on my little map on the left. And it looks like I'm trying to go to the very north pole because that's where he said was the best. Oh yeah, this is a thing. Yes, this is a
Hey, what's this? Interesting. A thing there. There's actually quite a lot of uh things around. There's a lot of planets. I feel like I've got some log entries. So I could go back to my ship. But I haven't found the translations yet. That's my ship. I'm trying to go to the South Pole. The North Pole is cool. The South Pole is probably also cool. Look at that, it's cool. I like the way that the, the planets are curved. It makes it a... Uh, there can be a lot of distinct areas. I scared that ball onto there by mistake. And now it's doing something. So I can push that ball into different slots. The eye signal locator. Okay, it's some sort of eye locator. Hey, what did I do with it? Oh, cool. Ember Twin, there's a quantum moon locator. Okay, Brito Hollow South Pole. Okay, that's another thing which suggests the Brito Hollow South Pole. Wait, no, let's push you towards this way.
this do anything? Alright, this makes everything go crazy for now. Oh, I noticed on the left-hand map it shows you where you've been on this 3D world. That's uh, really cool. Really helpful for figuring out where I'm going. Whee! Ah! Ah! Okay, the, the button which makes me not move much calms me down on in the uh, when I'm flying does not make things easier. Right, so we figured out a few more things. A whole lot of things apparently. Wow. Brittle Hollow South Pool. Why is it green? What does green mean? I don't like that there's something green, I don't know why. What was this? Okay. Timber Hearth and then Brittle Hollow. Let's do it. Uh, view map. Okay, this is pretty dope as well. To the bitter hollow. Uh, lock on. How do I do that? There I go. There it is. We can just go straight for it. Ignore the sun. Won't get too close, I guess. I hope. Alright, it's coming at me. away from me. How do I? It's going away from me faster than I can. All right, there we go. I'm catching up to it now. No, I missed it. Oh, no, it's going away from me again. Okay, this is kind of difficult.
Where do I aim? Let's actually land on it. So close. No. Okay, let's try this one more time. This kind of quilt shows you where it's moving, but I can see that it's not going straight. I think it's going a little bit up. Okay, let's try doing it this way. to do. Um, okay. Not, no, what, what, no, 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 uh, no. Uh, okay. Something has gone wrong. Houston, we have a problem. Alright, let's lock onto that. I don't know how to control myself anymore. nowhere to land. What happens if I go back into this? Right back into the sun. Alright, that's super cool, uh, the effects. But, not the answer. I can't, I can't turn on my headlights. They're broken. Everything is damaged. I'm alone. Oh, wow. Like a supernova? I'm dead, aren't I? Alright, I failed to save the universe. That was really cool. Played my hmm? Okay, that's pretty sick. So it seems like when something happens, there's a supernova and 
Yeah, you just die and restart. It's almost like a roguelite because uh, I have my items still. Seems like I my I still have my codes. And I still have my items. And I bet you on my ship I've still got my logs, very similar to Majora's mask. I'm gonna say that was actually one of my if not one of my favorite uh, in terms of how influential it was, video games. By the quests, you pick them up. Uh, you do them over multiple days, and then you would restart. And it seems like this is a kind of a similar idea. Uh, so what I am doing right now is I had that rumor of the instrument on the south of this island. So I'm trying to see if I can get out. Whee! Into the nature. Uh-oh, am I gonna die? Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay. New run, new, new life. Here's my full memory flashback. I walk up, I jump into the air, and I die. Alright, attempt number one. You know what, let's just go fly. I also like that you talk to these people and there's not like... A mission, per se. When you talk to them, they're very much like... Yeah, go fly. Do what you want. You know what? Let's go to Brittle, Ho Brittle, Brittle Hollow again. I can't view my map anymore. Oh, let's keep going up. Ash Twin. Oh, here I go. Little Hollow. Okay, there I go. I'm slowly figuring out. Look at that. I... Didn't slam into it and die. Good enough for me. Let's suit up and get out of here. Uh, South Pole. Oh. South Pole is where it's had to go. So I'll explore the rest afterwards. Jump! Jetpack! Boost! Oh, I see. So on the top left... This place is under assault. I can only do a certain amount of... Jetpacks per jump. Per single jump. Yeah, I gotta say, this game is beautiful. And I'm only like an hour in, 
and it is definitely has potential. Wait, this is not my ship. This is another ship. Is there another adventurer? All right, space is under attack. Let's get in. some more. There may be another way in. Yeah, with the way the world bends, it makes small worlds feel much larger. Similar to how, like, uh, Animal Crossing does it. It's not even that they're small worlds, they're actually very large worlds. But if it was a flat arena, it would feel much smaller. Alright, gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, I can really jump much faster if I just use the fact that I've got a rocket on me. I do wonder how predictable the unlockable stuff is, like if it will always be the north, east, south, and west. Or if it'll be kind of all over the place. Right, this place is under attack. Last time I got here at the end of la Oof, in the last day, there was not much left of this planet. So I'm assuming there's a time limit. So we shouldn't waste too much time. Alright, this looks like a thing. We found a thing, good job team. Oh, there's a whole bunch to this thing. really need now is some oxygen. I think I'm going to die pretty soon.
Oh, what is this? This is what I need. No, that's not what I need. Oxygen. Coming for you, ship. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Ship has been almost pushed off. Well, this is about to. Look at that. What's this? This is what I was looking for. I'm probably going to end up dying. What? Alright. Just got hit by a meteor. That's okay. Maybe. Nothing I can do now. I am going into the black hole. Okay. Really? Can I go in? No, okay. I think this is the end. Unless I can somehow find some trees. Oh wait, wrong button. I put this away. Come on. Really? Trees were detected here? How do I not die?
Hmm. Can I make it to a thing? Uh, fuel level critical? No, I'm just gonna go and burn up in space and die. Yeah. Guess we'll find out what happens in this case. This is not ideal. I know that much. Let's see what happens. It's dark, you can hear the man choke to death. That was a decently productive life. There's a whole ton of mysteries in that planet still. But I figured it out a little bit. Review what we learned and see what's next. Wait, gear options. I say this right here is like oh, such a good way of doing I just wish I knew what the colors colors meant. able to warp here from the white hole station. All right, we added that to where we're going to. Atmosphere changed to the space. Really well done.
Ah. No, wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. That could have gone much worse. Oh, it's going much worse. Let's try and get close to this escape pod. Nailed it. That was our first good landing. Proud of myself. Here's where I fell off into the black hole. This time, let's try and go. Ooh. Okay. This is the stuff I like. Those are pretty harsh punishments, though. Fall, you have to re reset. in like a whole area down here Interesting. Oh, no way. All right, let's do it. Let's go. All right, these gravity crystals are pretty sick. great environment this is. This seemed like such a small planet, but there's so many branching paths I already know about. I feel like I need to do at least one more life at this pod. This to go the other way. What a great, such a good feeling of adventure. Especially like how the, these things you don't need an item to do. It's just part of the world. So I probably could have came here at the very beginning. Alright, well now I'm out of crystals. Alright, what was, what was that? Okay, 
think I fell, but somehow landed on the right path again. the way I came. Let's go this way, because I feel like I fell and just landed on this path. That's unfortunate, because I was didn't explore either way. Now I've got two ways I need to go. But it's okay, we're gonna do this planet before we call it a day. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take like a 15 minute break. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take like a 15 minute break. I'm gonna do section two of the day's let's play. Get some water, get some things, and we'll catch you in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. Follow it if you're enjoying it so far. And we will see you soon.